Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you all a fond, fond welcome back to Gothic. Now, the first thing I want to do is talk to these fellows before they leave. It's actually quite important. Uh, Gornad Drak. Some of you might remember that, um, Kane, the, uh, apprentice to Kor Kalam, told us this guy's name, saying that, um... Well, uh, just mentioning him as one of the Templars who went to the old mine every day to collect the mine crawler secretion. You never actually see them collecting it, as I explained in the last episode, but the fellow just tends to, they just stand around here until they're scripted to go back, but talking to him will get you some uh, very useful information. Hi, where are you off to? We take the mine crawler secretion from our brothers in the old mine to Kor Kalam. We go to the old mine every day to collect it. What kind of secretion is it? We obtain it from the mandibles of the mine crawlers. If you know how to do it, you can take them out without losing the secretion. Can you tell me how to get the secretion of a mine crawler? Of course. After you've killed the beast, you get hold of the mandibles and pull them straight out. This way, you'll get the secretion gland without destroying it. Now, that is one of very few cases where you can actually learn a skill that does not require any um, any skill points at all. You don't have to have any uh, experience to invest in it. And it's very cool because it's not really a practical skill in any way. Uh, but it does, similar to the animal trophies, it does have a monetary gain behind it. The only difference is you only you can only give the mandibles to one person for any decent amount of money. What which does obviously Corcolan is Corcolan the secretion for? As far as I know, he makes a potion with it which increases the magic powers of a novice. Since we are preparing for the great invocation, he can't get enough of the stuff. With the aid of the potion, he'll prepare the novices for the great day. Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No, we still have to collect much more. Our mind crawler hunting units are in action day and night. And that's that. So the guys are down there in the bottom of the mine hunting mine crawlers on a daily basis. Um, it's kind of surprising, though, to think it, we'll explore the caves down there the next time we're here. But there aren't really a whole lot of mine crawlers except behind this one area, which they've completely closed off. So even the Templars can't get in there. And it just kind of surprises me that they uh, can even find enough mine crawlers to keep them that busy. Now, this here winch, generally, I don't even think you can use it. Uh, apparently, we can. Now, the problem with this, this winch will close the gate into the old mine. Once you use it... Oh, it does work. Now, that's odd. I remember the first time I ever played this game, Once I, the first time I used that winch, it closed the gate, and uh, I could never open it again. Apparently, it works now. There's no point to it, but the gate... Uh, is there for a reason. Later in the game, uh, there's a point where the mine is closed off, and uh, that's what that gate is there for, just to make sure you can't get in. Now, uh, of course, you might wonder, well, how does that permit, prevent me from getting in if I can just turn the winch? Well, that's what I mean. The uh, winch does get uh, deactivated at some point, so you can't use it anymore. But it happened to me once earlier than it was meant to, so I ended up uh, being unable to actually get into the old mine the second time. Alright. Um, over there are some snappers, kind of chilling around a cave. We do not want to deal with those. Um, since we have... I was actually just thinking of doing a little exploring here, but I've decided against that now. Uh, since we have the list, as I said before, you can bring the list to Lara's and uh, you can get the experience for doing that because I did not even see you. Get back here you bastard. Oh whatever. Yeah um you can give the list to Lara's and then end up giving it to Diego again because it turns out that's exactly what Lara's wants you to do as well. So you can complete the test of faith and uh, Larry's in initiation requirements in the same motion, essentially. So once you end up doing that, you can 
join either camp you want. And it's kind of funny that the uh, old camp never really catches on to your shenanigans. Oh my. That was actually kind of cool in this game. Uh, this game and, uh, well, I think all three Gothic games. The, the water actually has, like, a current to it. You see, like, the running river here. So if you if you stay here, it'll actually carry you down the stream, and it's pretty cool that it does that. I don't you don't see too many games that actually do it that way, at least not from this time period. So again, the attention to detail in these games were really extraordinary. So once again, we want to try and avoid Lefty to make sure we don't get in trouble. Because since we've neglected to actually hand out the water to the peasants the uh, second time he told us to, he um, he will get mad at us for that. So once again, just stick to the right here. You can safely avoid him. Climb up this uh, really low-res texture stone here. And uh, I'll get you by with no fuss whatsoever. And while we're here, we will also take care of the Lurker for Homer. So this is where all the peasants kind of hang out. Once they are released from the fields. Alright, bitch, round two. And hocha pocha! There we go. Worked out much better than last time. Now, for some reason, he... Most lurkers have two claws. He has a third one. And the reason for that is... The two... The two generic ones you can only get when you have the uh, take claw skill, obviously. But they need the third one to be available to people... Who, even people who don't have the ability to take the claws. So that you can take that as the... Um, prerequisite to complete the quest. Alright, buddy, here you go. I'd kill the beast. Great. I got some of the Rice Lord's men to help me fix some of the damage it's caused. Now I can finally get some sleep. Good for you, buddy. So, we kept that guy waiting for days here on the bridge. Poor guy hasn't got a wink of sleep in the meantime. Alright, so while we're here, he might as well take a nap. In our home away from home. And yeah, once again, you have a chest here. It's just for your own personal storage. Not that it really matters since uh, you have unlimited inventory. Which is something actually that um, Pranabites has said many times. It's just a a feature that they seem to prefer, which is why it showed up in all their games. They have uh, an inventory with unlimited space, and they said their next game will have that as well. Someone on Steam, in a, a forum discussion that I've been uh, perusing for a little while, seems to... See, yes, yeah, you see all that like outline glitching. That's the same problem that it's related to the problem that was causing the flickering in the old mine. I know that for a fact because that same problem was happening when I installed the enhanced edition of Gothic 2, the mod, and it also had like the blue outline on the buildings. And anytime I was inside those buildings, it would cause the same flickering problem. So that's got something to do with it. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, someone on Steam was saying that... You again. Me again. Uh, someone on Steam was saying that he found, like, an interview that seemed to confirm that um, Piranha Bytes would work on a remake. I get the feeling that that's not as cut and dry as he... As he read it, but he said that it wasn't in English, so there's no way I could really... He also didn't have a link to it, but there's no way I could really verify that, but it would be cool 
to at least read it if it was in fact an interview with Bjorn Pankratz or someone like that just to know what exactly was said and uh, how likely such an idea would be. I have the list of requirements for the old mine. Not bad. How'd you get it? I they asked for it. it to me. You got a nerve? So they sent you to test me, did they? What? Thoris must already be going mad, I'm sure. Diego gave me the order. Diego does what Thoris tells him to. If I know him, he'd die laughing if he knew that you was here. Can I get in there now or not? Just go on in. Laris won't believe his eyes. So once again, all the dialogue with these characters, uh, uh, Laris' bodyguards, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. What the hell was he talking about? Thor is sending me to test him. I don't get it. <laughs> there must be some uh, translation little hiccups there. Alright, Laris, stop drinking yourself into oblivion and talk to me. I have the list of requirements for the old mine on me. No, I don't believe it. I must say, you do seem to have a nerve. Show me. Here it is. Indeed. Do you know what we're gonna do with it? We'll add to it, and you'll take the list back to the old camp. Then, when they deliver the stuff to the mine, we'll mug them and take the lot. It won't take a minute. <laughs> Here's the list. You know what to do. In DBWWE, I do. Yeah, see, it just started flickering there. I don't know if you saw it. Now, I don't know if we can join the camp now, or we have to wait until after we bring the list to Diego. Is that enough for me to join you? I should say so. And I've even got a present for you a better armor. It's not much, but you've earned it. And that's that. We are now, for the time being, we are a member of the new camp. We are a rogue, as it were. So the rogues are the are the thugs who live on this side of the uh, camp. The mercenaries are kind of separate from them, but they are not totally unrelated. And this armor is some of the better armor you can get as an initiate of sorts. And the only other armor you could get as part of this faction would be from um, Wolf over there. And what's interesting is all this armor, namely the one I'm wearing, the light rogue armor, and the one that Roscoe's wearing, which is uh, the medium rogue armor, both of these were repurposed in Gothic 2 as bandit armor, which uh, you could not obtain until they uh, had the Knight of the Raven expansion. And so, the armor that Laris is wearing, in fact, turned out to be the light mercenary armor in um, Gothic 2. And then there were the uh, improved mercenary armors that are al also carry over. But the light mercenary armor in this game uh, does not exist in Gothic 2. Alright, so we do not actually want to be a rogue. So we shall be rid of this place and return to Diego with the list. So in truth, you never actually have to turn the list in in order to join the new camp. Or so it seemed to me. But either way, once we bring this list back, that's a uh, quest complete for the new camp and still our test of faith completed for the old camp. And um, it's a little underhanded, surely. But, as Roscoe said, Diego wouldn't really mind. In fact, he'd find the uh, whole concept terribly amusing. Which, it turns out, Diego's Diego's a fairly under, underhanded fellow himself. He does not always seem to have the best interest of his uh, employers in mind. Um, when it came to Whistler, for example, uh, if we had simply pocketed the money, Diego would have been amused enough by that to give us the uh, extra recommendation. So all together, he's a, he's a fairly shady fellow. And as we see later, in spite of his fairly prestigious position with the Shadows, uh, he is also one of those who the uh, old camp seems to view with some serious suspicion. 
Which is why I'm not sure why he's never gotten demoted or exiled. Now, what's happening here is actually a weird glitch where if you move sometimes while the camera's underwater, sometimes when you come back up, the, um, it's like the, uh, little visual distortion showing you underwater, which, first of all, a lot of games still don't do that. When you're underwater, a lot of games still show you, you as, um, they, they just show the water as looking pretty much like air. But... Yeah, that's pretty cool. So because of the current, we kind of take a little bit of a shortcut. Which helps us uh, get to the old camp a little bit quicker. I have the list from Ian. Well done. That'll get you a few brownie points. Can you teach me something? Yes. Not what I needed. Come back. In fact, I wanted... Let me just be sure. We have every... Oh, Dexter. Yes, that's right. We have yet to give the, um... Kalam's recipe to Dexter. Now, it's interesting that Fisk is a shadow in the Outer Ring, but he's the only one that we do not actually need to, uh, gain approval for. So I'm not really sure what his deal is. I feel like it was kind of a um, an oversight. Now, uh, of course, there are unnamed shadows. So I guess we it was only high-ranking shadows, I suppose, that you require the um, the approval of. And I guess Fisk is the only low-ranking shadow who uh, has a name. I got these. Not what I need. I have the recipe you wanted. Very good. Show it to me. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Good. Now I can produce the potions myself. Good luck reading that thing. You are a good man. I'll tell Diego about it. Here you go. Take that for your efforts. What did you give me? I didn't even see it. Should have been paying attention. He might have given me the 50 ore they were trying to haggle with before. So either way, you seem to get it. And I doubt he gives you anything extra if you... If you uh, convince him to give it to you beforehand. But I cannot say that for sure since I've never actually done it. So he's still... He's got no ore back. I don't know if he's... Like, I know... Between chapters, these guys will... Uh, the merchants will get new stock and uh, get their ore back, but I cannot say for sure if it happens after a set amount of time as well. I just don't really know. I want to see if something has changed up here. Hang on. I hear you've spoken of blood. Why? What do you want? Yeah, it was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. What you just won, happened? Okay? Put the weapon and why did I turn around? Put wow, you... Him you are a pushover, my friend. I have no idea how you managed to kill 30 people in a night. And once again, he has a whole bunch of swords, too. I think what's happening is because they have a script... Like, people have a script to use a grindstone. Which, apparently, I have one, too. What am I doing? Okay. I guess I just had two random unsharpened blades. So, yeah. Anyone who uh, has a... Like, is scripted to just randomly use the grindstone, I think, just keeps ending up with Let new swords pass. in their inventory. Let me pass. Shut up, you little bitch. Looking for trouble again? So, Harlock is not, or Herrick, in, is not in any way a threat, really, for all this tough talk. Now, he. He is not the only fellow who uh, Bloodwind has pushed against us. Hey, you! 
Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten or and you're in. What do you say? Oh, screw yourself. See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. Ha! You cannot convince me. Hey, you! Hey! Aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? Yeah, we've we've met before. I could help you. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. One of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them should still be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. What do you say? What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you helped me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Yeah, sounds good. Count me in. All right, just tell me when we can start. We'll leave here soon enough. First, I want to uh, finish up with this initiation, though. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Scatty told me you defeated Kurgo. But he was impressed by you having the courage to fight against Karim, even though you've been defeated. Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. Sly told me that you found Neck. He seemed to be really content. I've already sent you to Fingers. He could really teach you something. What? I thought he... You've really managed to get the recipe from Kalom. Dexter is very impressed, and so am I. Thora says we could make use of someone like you. That's very good for you. You've found enough people to speak in your favor. You also passed the test of faith. Go to Thoris. I've already told him everything. He'll let you go to see Gomez. Now, it's weird Take that care. he said uh, I didn't have fingers approval because I had him teach me how to open locks. I'm not sure what the deal is. Maybe for some reason that's not counted. But uh, anyway, he actually... He does give a clue when he brings up the story of Fisk and Whistler. Um, he does actually clue you in that he would, uh, he, you know, he would still speak in your favor if you had chosen to keep the ore. He says that, well, if I were you, that's what I would have done. So, in fact, if you took that hint better than I ever did, uh, you might realize that you can still um, essentially keep that point of approval even if you don't help Whistler out. All right, so let us have a word with Thoris himself. Diego says I'm ready to see Gomez. That's my decision. And what do you decide? Hmm. I must admit, you seem to have done most things okay. Okay, you can see Gomez. He alone will decide whether you get to join us or not. From now on, you're on your own, kid. And it's funny that he says that, because in fact... Stop! Relax. I've talked to Thoris. I'm allowed in. Oh, I won't forget your face, pal. You get into trouble and it won't end quickly. So yeah, it's, it's funny that Thor says you're on your own now. But, well, in truth... I guess, if, like, Thor has a big sense of camaraderie with his boys, but... His jurisdiction is just a guard's. So, in fact, he does not deal with the shadows at all. Which is what we are going to become, of course. Holden, what are you doing? I want to go in. Are you kidding? Why don't you ask Thoris? I will. If you're lying, you're as good as dead. Are you saying I can go in? Yeah, get moving. Of course, he never actually goes to see what Thoris. What do for you? Who are you? I'm Raven. Gomez's right-hand man. Anyone who wants to see Gomez has to talk to me first. I want to see Gomez. Thoris says I'm to be taken on as a shadow. We're always on the lookout for good men. You seem to have your wits about you. Might be okay. 
I'll take you to Gomez. Follow me. And don't touch anything. For some reason, he takes a long way around, but this way, I suppose, makes it a bit more of a dramatic approach. Gomez is over there. If you don't show him some respect, I'll take pleasure in teaching it to you personally. Have you got that? Sure. Get out of my way. Wow, you are an angry fucker all of a sudden. Now, I just want to point out, you see that picture up there? Remember? Yeah, that's first person. That portrait up there, that's always kind of intrigued me, because, uh, I used to think it was actually a portrait of Gomez, and for whatever reason, his face just didn't line up, because he's actually, he, you see the fellow in the portrait is wearing the same clothes as him, but I thought it was either him or King Robar. I think the most common, commonly accepted idea is that it is, in fact, King Robar, but it doesn't look like he does in the intro either, which is kind of strange. But he is, both uh, King Robar and Gomez do actually wear the same armor uh, that this fellow is wearing, which is actually something we can never obtain by normal means in the game. But if it is a portrait of King Robar, doesn't really portray the uh, expected uh, image of the pious and um, very upstanding king when he's got a uh, harem of scantily clad women about him. So, it's hard to really say uh, if that's really meant to be the king or if it's part of an inside joke. And, you know, that's another thing I think, as you can see from these uh, ladies putting on a show for us, that convinces me it's actually meant to be a portrait of Gomez. Now, the thing with these women, you can never actually talk to them. If you try to... You're not allowed to talk to us. Uh, that's the only thing they will ever say. You're not allowed to talk to us. That was a very delay delayed reaction on your part. Alright, so let us just have a word with Gomez. Alright, now talking to him, there are a lot of ways this can go wrong. And I'm kind of going to show you everything that you should not do. Well, I guess there's only actually one real way that this can go wrong. I have come to offer my services. What makes you think we're interested in your services? I have stood the test of faith, and Thoris says I'm worth it. You wouldn't have gotten in here alive if that weren't so. I hope that's not the best you can do. You have to watch what you tell me. There's only blackheads around here, on the lookout for newcomers to pass their jobs on to instead of doing them themselves. That may be true, with few exceptions. Still, it's no reason to hire another blockhead. I hope I'm not going to have to chop your head off to prove that I can handle a weapon. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. Yep, so that's actually one of the ways this can go wrong. He doesn't just beat you up, either. So, uh... Yeah, Gomez does not dick around. He is, uh... He is serious business. Oh, jeez. She kind of freaked out a little bit. I've been traveling around the colony a lot, and I have contacts in all of the camps. Now that could prove useful. Who are you in contact with? All right, now this is very important. If you were to... If you didn't give him any, let's see what happens. Those were the important ones. You expect that to impress me? We have diggers with better connections. I, what? Now you can. Uh, he gives you a second chance here, now that could which is kind of funny. Normally they wouldn't do that, but uh, if you really tried to bluff, now obviously you can have met all of these other people here, but if you try to uh, lie to him, obviously you cannot meet Iberian under any means by this point in the game. So if you tried to lie to him. Iberian. Iberian doesn't waste his time on guys like you. Your lies tell me you think I'm an idiot. I'm disappointed to see you think I'm stupid. I hate being disappointed. And that's the other way you can get yourself killed here. So there you have it. 
So in other words, the only way to impress Gomez is to be honest with him. But, in truth, you actually don't have to necessarily be honest, because even if you have not actually met any of these people, uh, yeah, even if you have not actually met any of these people, if you've just, um, if you've just gotten the approval of the shadows and then done the test of faith, these options will still be here, even if you have never heard of these characters before. So you can go through them all anyway, and, uh, you still manage to, uh, join. Kor Kalam. And? A few of the bowels in the Brotherhood's camp. And? Laris. And? A couple of the fences in the new camp. And? Those were the important ones. Not bad for a beginner. You shall have your chance. Does that mean I'm in? You bet it does. You're one of us now, kid. Raven will fill you in on everything. And so be it. We have now joined Hello? the shadows. Gomez says I'm in. Great. In that case, you can prove your worth with the first task. It shouldn't be too difficult for you, provided your connections are as good as you say. And what is that now? What do you want me to do? We do a lot of trade with the Brotherhood. That doesn't mean to say we trust them. Go to the swamp. When you get to the camp, keep your ears open. Anything you pick up might be useful for us. The more you find out, the better. It'll take a bit of tact, if you know what I mean. Keep cool. I'm not going to get them angry. I knew you'd understand. Indeed. Where can I get better equipment? Go and see Diego. He'll give you some armor. It'll stop you from getting killed, and it'll serve as an ID at the same time. Your armor should give you access to all the places you need to go. If you need any weapons, go and talk to Skip. You'll find him in the big shed right at the back, left of the castle courtyard. Now, uh, he's, he says to get armor from Diego, saying it's going to serve as our idea, but the armor he gives us is actually fine for that purpose as well. How's the ore trade going? The old mine's doing well. The last load of supplies from the outside world was massive. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we have our new armor now, and this armor... Let's take a look at it. It's about the same as the, um... The, uh, new camp, the light rogue armor. So, there's no real huge difference there. Now, let me think. Someone, one of my subscribers commented that an easy way to get a very good weapon early in the game is once you've uh, gotten inside the castle or maybe specifically that you become a member of the old camp there's a fellow here named Scar hello who are you they call me Scar he got a really gimpy voice for a man with the name Scar what's your job me and Art will make sure nobody gets to see Gomez unless they're invited. And I make sure the women don't get restless. Oh. Uh -huh. When they threw me in here, I saw a woman being brought down with the goods. So what? Is she here? Look, in case you're interested in her, let me give you some advice. Forget her. She's only just got here, and Gomez has her locked in his room. When he's done with her, he might just send her down, but for now, she's his. So you better take your mind off her. There's a bit of misogyny going on here. Women are treated as property, but what can you expect from a group of, uh, convicts? Is there anything you can tell me about Gomez? All you need to know is that he's the most powerful man in the colony. He gets what he wants, but all he really wants is power. Is that so? So let's see. Because the uh, fellow who commented said that uh, you can beat this guy up without anyone else getting involved. And I just want to see if that's really true. May I oh, well, I certainly can't hurt him. Nice so that's uh, not at all an option. 
I'm not totally sure it was Scar, though. Maybe it was this fellow Cutter. So I'm going to take a look at him and see how good his sword is. For Gomez. For Jones. Now let's try fighting this guy. No, can't hurt him either. Wow. Yeah. So the only reason I even hurt him there at all was because I got a critical hit. So that's not going to work. Alright, so I shall not worry about either of them for now. Now, another thing that we can do while we're here is uh, deliver the letter from the mage in the intro. But I'm going to save that because uh, this episode is about to turn over and I'm not really sure I want to record much longer. For Gomez. So this is Skip. He's the fellow who's supposed I to give us a weapon. I could show now, there's actually a dialogue option that I'm kind of surprised isn't here. I could I it might only pop up once you become a guard. But this guy's got some decent weapons for this stage of the game, including this battle sword, which we can use, and is slightly better than the, um, than the mace we have. So we might as well take it. I think I've got enough ore. I could, I Certainly enough to trade. So we'll sell him all of this jargon. And, um... Anything else? I'll just give up some of this pointless loot. Oh, I think I overstepped myself a little bit. Perfect. And here we have it. Quite a nice sword. Don't really get anything else from these guys yet, though. For Gomez. You're the smith, aren't you? That's right. Do you sell weapons and armor? Skip deals with the weapons. I just hand out the armor. What kind of armor have you got on offer? Only armor for guards. And you're no guard. So you have to get your armor elsewhere. Well, that is a shame, then. So only once we join the guards can we get armor from him. Well, that's fine. Well, maybe now we can hurt him. I doubt it. Only barely. Wow, it actually takes quite a few hits before it... Wow! Ah. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Not unless I up my strength a little bit more, which I might do. Obviously, I want to save some uh, skill points for later so we can invest in magic. But for the time being... Uh, basically, the when you first get access to magic, the stuff you can use, the magic you can use is not really all that powerful. So, I'm probably not even really going to bother with the lower rank spells. So, I might join the mages. Uh, yeah, here you can buy the improved armor from Diego. All the uh, defenses are a little bit higher, but it costs 1,200 ore, so you have to keep that in mind. Can you? Yes. So let's just pop another 20 in strength, and after this, I'll probably keep all the skill points just saved up for when I can learn some magic. I can't teach you. You are strong. Come back. Take care. So now I have a decent sword, and I have 60 strength. So let's see what kind of havoc we can wreak. So yeah, you actually have to land a few hits on this guy before he even aggros. Ah, oh, bugger. That was close. Oh, shut up, guy. Ow, wow! God damn it. 
Why? Why, Why don't you block? Jesus, the buttons aren't doing anything. Why? Why? I pressed the fucking buttons. Come on. What the heck is going on? What the heck? How can you respond that quickly? I just hit you. It's a point of pride now. I have to get this guy. Put the weapon down. No, I was blocking. You cannot do that. No! What the heck? There we go. Oh, there's so much for that then. I don't know what he was talking about then. I obviously can't hit, fight this guy without someone else getting involved. Unless I can lure him away. But that just carries the risk of him shooting at me. Let's see if I can do it. Yep, see, I knew he would. Fucking hell. Alright, no, that's just not gonna work. Forget it. Maybe... Maybe he won't take my weapon, though. Even if he does, it doesn't really matter. No, I was blocking! I was blocking! No! Fucking fuck fuck! No, I can't skip the fucking- Alright, I'm done with this.